tena kuweza kumleta mbele yenu mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye amepewa siri kwa ajili ya uzima wetu. Hata hivi jioni ya leo kutabadilika kitu. Wewe achilia moyo wako kunaenda kubadilika kitu. Kitu kinafanyika sasa hivi. Karibu baba ukaweze kutuongoza kwa yale Mungu amwanzisha amekupa kwa ajili yetu. Karibu sana. Karibu mtumishi wa Mungu. Karibu sana. Ukae wapendwa na mabeloved na wasalimu katika jina la Bwana Yesu. Amen. Yesu anasema Jesus says Jioni kwangu nyinyi musumbukao. Come to me all of you who suffer. Mnao lemewa na mizigo, tawapumzisha. And I'll give you rest. Tumekuja tupumzishwe. We've come here to be given rest. Usirudi na mizigo huko. Don't return with your burdens there. Mwachie Yesu hapa. Leave them to Jesus here. Alipokuwa akiteswa, when he was being persecuted, alijitoa, he volunteered, aokoe ulimwengu to save the world. Kulikuwa hakuna dawa ya dhambi. There was in any other remedy. Na hata sasa. And even at this moment. Neno la Mungu peke yake. It's only the word of God. Lakini unatafuta dawa ya dhambi hakuna. But if you're looking for remedy for sickness. Yesu ndiye muganga wa waganga. Jesus the physicians of all the physicians. Kusingizia kulikoweko tangu mwanzo. Slandering was there from the beginning. Kusingizia. Slandering. Yesu alisingiziwa na hakufanya kitu. Jesus slandered against but he hadn't done anything. Sasa ni kusema mahala popote Yesu alipopitia. That means wherever Jesus passed through. Sisi nasi tutapita na hapo hapo. We shall surely have to pass through the same place. Utasingizia umeimba. Wewe nenda mbele. Go forward. But go forward. Utasingizia humokofu upu. We are slandered not being a saved But just go, keep on going Manayesu forward. Because Jesus is ahead there. You keep on going Kusiru forward. Nyuma. Don't backslide. Amen. Amen. Kwevyo, Mungu hata leo. Therefore God wants even today. Mungu God wants to bless you. Usiwe mongofu wa maneno. You should not a saved person with Mana words. Kama only. Kikitu, mongofu wa maneno. Even if nothing is done you are a saved person Now, with words. maneno matupu. And don't expect, accept Sema, with, with empty words. Just Yesu say, niita, Jesus called me. Ili anipe mema. So they may give you good things. Hata njoni kwangu msumbukao. So he said come to me if you Usi suffer. na madeni tena. So that don't suffer with death Kutoka leo pone kabisa. Today you get healed completely. Usijio kasumbuka tena na madeni. Don't suffer with death anymore. Unajua kama una madeni, you know, once you have death, utakuwa muongo. You'll be a liar. Lazima uwe muongo. You must be a liar. Haya. Okay. Mwenye pesa ana sokodai ndiye huyu anapiga simu. The man who demands money from you is there making a phone call. Unamwambia oh sorry sorry sorry. Tell him I'm very sorry indeed. Sasa hii niko Malaba lakini ngoja wiki ijayo. Then at this time I'm at Malaba but wait for next week. Na uko hapo Kaloleni hapa. And you at Kaloleni down there. Hata 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 unaonekana ndiye yule pale. In fact you're seen there he is. Na fikiri kutakuja simu nyingine. I think another phone call come down to you. Hata wewe unasungumza unaonekana huyu ndiye huyu hapa. Well you're talking Na wewe unasema huko Malaba and you'll be saying you are in Malaba. Ah, ah sasa tuokoke leo. Okay now let's be safe today. Soma kitabu cha Waebrania. Read the book of Hebrews please. Waebrania Hebrews 11:24. Chapter 11 verse 24. Kwa imani Musa alipokuwa mtu mzima akakataa kuitwa mwana wa binti Farao. Akaona ni afadhali kupata mateso pamoja na watu wa Mungu kuliko kujifurahisha katika dhambi kwa kitambo Musa alipokuwa mtu mzima when Moses had become an adult akachagua kuondoka kwa Farao he chose to go from Pharaoh's place na kwa Farao kulikuwa kuna vyakula vyote and there were all the food at Pharaoh's place viko hapa they were there kitaka nyama ya kondoo if you want the kitaka mbuzi mutton if you want of ngombe if you want of cattle kuna wamama waliokosana na waume zao wanafanya kazi huko the so many ladies who had disagreed with their husband kuna were kila there. kitu hapo there was everything there musa kaondoka na mchana but moses departed during a very yeah, wewe wanakuja nini now what do we do ni sisi tutoke sote jioni ya leo must all depart from that place useme hapa 
and you say I'm going to my God Amua kabisa kutoka decide so well to get out Mimi nina vita na ugonjwa mmoja I'm at war with one disease unaitwa madeni it's called the death Sina furaha na hiyo I'm not happy with that Maana kama unadaiwa huna amani because if you're indebted Kama unadaiwa huna furaha they don't want to have any joy at Lakini all Lakini sasa but now unaweza ukatoka you can get out Kama ni shida it's a problem upate tabu pamoja na watu wa Mungu na hayo madeni yataondoka and the death will depart from you Kuna nguvu nyingine inakufanya uwe na aibu which make you have shame. Kumbe ndio unaingia madeni. And that we're getting into into death. Watu waje hapa kwangu, people to come to my place. Waniona na kunywa chai, hakuna hata mkate. And they see me drinking tea without even bread. Watu waje hapa kwangu, people to come to my place. Wakifika na kula sima mbichi, hakuna sima sima tupu. So when they get there they find me eating the maize. Hakuna hata mboga without any relish. Unajikuta huko bucha kule, kuna kwa nyama kule asking for meat from there lakini but anaweza kutoka huyo upepo wa madeni the devil of death can surely wacha aibu do away with shame amen amen wacha aibu do away with shame haya kama ni kujachekwa na nichekwe okay if you have not been laughed up na mimi nakula sima yangu hapa na majit but i'm eating my maize meal with water here siku mbili tatu 2 3 days madeni yanaondoka the days have departed yanaenda kabisa they go away completely Yesu alikuwa msalabani pale. Jesus was up at the cross there. Watu wakamcheka. They laughed at him. Alisema ni mwana wa Mungu. They said he said he's a man. Ayatoka of God. hapo msalabani. Okay, get away from the cross then. Eh? Oh, yes. Wanamtaka akosee. They wanted him to transgress. Na yeye akatulia hapo hapo. But he stayed right there. Unaingia madeni maana hutaki kudharauliwa. You're getting into death because you don't want to be despised. Wewe unajua? But you know, ulipata moja tu. You got one. Wewe unaandika umepata 20. Wewe mwana shule, wewe mwana shule. That, that way. You are refusing share. Maybe si mwalimu. It will be known because you are not a teacher. Wewe ni mwanafunzi. You are just a student. Mwalimu wako ataangalia. Your teacher look at Mana you. wengi wa namna hiyo. Because I've seen so many people of that Atakwa time. Hata kwa mimi kwa nini? He'll tell you why you do this. Mwalimu kuna nini? Si nimepata. I've got this didn't I? Ambo huko bado. You told you didn't get anything. Umekosea. You are disgraced. Na haya yote ni aibu. And all this because of shame. Mtu wa aibu. Any man of shame utafanya dhambi. You will commit sin. You will commit sin. Wewe hujaoa? Are you married? Ah bado. Oh not yet. Ah. What? Lakini wewe kweli ni mume wewe? Are you a man surely? Ah why mimi hiyo mambo sina wasiwasi mimi na kula sima na chiba. I'm all right. Lakini but anaenda kutafuta he goes to search. Amweka ah siku hizi fulani naye ameoa. So that he may say so and so is now married. Wiki moja ya tatu wamekosa. 1 2 3 days they are married. Maana ni aibu, alimchukua kwa aibu. Because it's shame. Kwa kitu cha kwanza tupone aibu. First thing let me hear loud of shame. Waja Mungu akuokoe. Let God save you. Waja Mungu akutawale. Let God rule over you. Mungu mwenyewe atutawale. God himself should rule us. Mungu mwenyewe atuokoe. God himself should save us. Lakini roho ya aibu, the spirit of shame, ina shida kubwa sana. Has a very real very big. Uwezo ukatimiza neno sawa. You can't fulfill anything very correctly. Kwa sababu ya aibu. Because of shame. Hebu tusomee. Mwanzo 12. Book of Genesis chapter 12. Stari wa kwanza. Paka wa pili paka wa tatu. Up to the third verse. Bwana akamwambia Abrahamu Toka wewe katika nchi yako na jamaa zako na nyumba ya baba yako uende mpaka nchi nitakayokuonyesha nami nitakufanya wewe kuwa taifa kubwa na kukubariki na kulikuza jina lako nawe uwe baraka nami nitawabariki wa kubarikio naye akulanie nitamlani na katika wewe jamaa zote za dunia watabarikiwa Mungu anataka uwe uitwe mbarikiwa. Kwa sababu anasema yeye alipoenda katika hiyo nchi. When he went into that land. Hakubakia hivyo hivyo Ibrahim. Nchi ile ikaanza kubadilika. Ikaanza kubadilika. Ibrahim akaanza kubadilika. Hata leo hakuna mahali ambapo hajulikani. There's no Hata maisha tuliyo nayo 
alitoka kwake they came from him maana aliambiwa nitakubariki i'll bless you na mwenye kukubariki naye atabarikiwa the one who blesses you will also be hizo baraka hizo that's what see these blessings here uzao wa mwenye haki mungu anasema hautasumbuka god says it will never suffer kama sisi tu uzao wa watu wa mungu because we are the seed of the kwa nini tusumbuke na madeni then why should he suffer sasa today? leo okay today bwana yesu the lord jesus anataka kila mahala palipo na madeni wants everywhere where they are dead hayo madeni yaende kabisa just to go away completely Ni rahisi kuingia kwa madeni. It's very easy to get into debt. Kuna pesa pale. There's money there. Kama unataka uenda ukakope hapo. If you want you can go and borrow from there. Halafu and then kuna madeni mengine ya nazao. Watoto which bear interest. Ulikopa 1000. You borrowed 1000 shillings. Mwezi ukiisha at the end of the month kuna 100 juu. There's another 100 bob on top. Alafu unaona ah hiyo kasi ndogo. I just say that some very small work. Utakuja ziona zimekuwa nyingi. You'll find it having become so much. Nilimwambia mmoja hivi. I told one this way. Ikiwa wewe unadaiwa hata kama ni shilingi 1500. If maybe I did it maybe it's only like 1000 or maybe 100000 shillings. Unangangana hivi mpaka ulipe. And you struggle until you pay the whole. Si ni kuonyesha wewe unaweza kuwa na laki moja zako sasa kukopa. Then it shows you can have your own 100000 shillings without borrowing it. Ikiwa umetafuta hizi. If you sort this money. Hata umemaliza deni. And you finish up the deni. Kuonyesha wewe unaweza kuwa na laki yako moja mwenyewe. Then it shows you can have your own 100000 shillings of your own. Amen. Amen. Sijui nani mnaamini hilo. I don't know whether you believe that. Ungangane kulipa hilo deni. You struggle to pay off the debt. Ungangane kulipa hilo deni. You struggle to pay off the debt. Hata umalize. Until you finish it. Unaweza kumwambia Mungu, you can tell God. Unisaidie mimi niwe na sangu. Help me so that I may have my own. Mungu atakupa. God will give you. Kwa bidii ile ile. By that very same diligence. Na ni kweli yenyewe. That is the very truth that one. Kama wewe unaweza ukalipa laki moja. If can you pay 100000 shillings? Eh? Yeah. Unaweza ukawa na laki moja sako. You can have 100000 shillings of your own. Lakini tukifika ili uwe na sako unakuwa mlegevu. But for it to, to be yours, you have you become yours then you become so lax. Lakini sasa kwa sababu unatishika sio kaja ukaibishwa. But that, that now because you're afraid you don't know. Ndio na unalipa. That's why struggle to pay. Ngangana uwe na sako sasa. You struggle to have your own now. Useme hata mimi nami nitakuwa na laki yangu moja. And you say I'll have my own 100,000 shares. Yeah, nitakuwa oh, nayo. I'll have it. Maana mwenye kupeana ni Mungu. God the giver is God. Hivyo hivyo tu. Same way. Utakuja ziona siko hapo. You'll find it being there. Maana Mungu ni mwaminifu. God is so faithful. Analitazama neno lake. He's looking at his word. Na ukiamini atafanya hivyo. And if you believe he'll do exactly that. Ukiamini atafanya hivyo. Once you believe he'll do it. Lakini exactly ili that. Mungu afanye hivyo. But for God to do that. Ni kama ulivyosikia. It's as if you have you have heard. Ni watu watoke people should get out katika maisha yao from their own lives katika tabia zao from their habits katika mwenendo wao from their conducts atoke hapo they should get out of that place hebu tusome yohana let us read the book of john yohana mlango wa 3 book of john chapter 3 yesu aliteswa ndugu zangu jesus was executed my dear brother for yetu. our sake na kama aliteswa kwa ajili yetu tutambue kifo chake si cha kawaida must recognize that his death was not an ordinary death ni kwa ajili ya ulimwengu mzima because of the whole world mashikitiko all the sadnesses Stare wa 16 verse 16 Kwa maana jinsi hii Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu hata akamtoa mwanawe wa pekee ili kila amwaminie asipotee bali awe na uzima wa milele Kwa jinsi hii in this case Mungu akaupenda ulimwengu God loved the world Hayo mabaya hai Okay these evil things Akatupenda He loved you Akamtoa mwana wa pekee He gave out his only Ili tupate kuokolewa So that may be saved Hata jioni ya leo In this evening Tutaokolewa Kwa sababu yeye aliteswa kwa ajili yetu Because he was persecuted for our sake Hakuna aliyeteswa kwa ajili ya mwingine hapa There's nobody who was persecuted for the sake of somebody else Yesu aliteswa kwa ajili yetu But Jesus was persecuted for us Aliumizwa kadharauliwa kwa ajili yetu Was hamd and was despised for us Kuna nafasi nzuri ya kuamua jioni ya leo Good opportunity to to decide Umuombe Mungu Just pray to God Upita kawaida More than ordinary Umuulize Mungu maneno kupita kawaida Extraordinarily Mwambie Mungu niokoe Just tell God save me Mimi I niko katika kidimbwi I'm in a deep water. Deep, deep hole. Oh Lord, save me. Oh Lord, save me. Repeat that prayer. Keep repeating the prayer. Repeat that prayer. Repeat that prayer. Who wanna do the that prayer? Repeat that prayer. Keep repeating until you stay awake. Keep repeating until you stay awake. Just doing the same thing. 
Mwambie Mungu niongoe. Tell God save me. Yes, wewe uliteswa kwa ajili yangu. Oh, Jesus, please take care of my sake. Ulibishwa kwa ajili yangu. You are shamed because of me. Ulitukano kwa ajili yangu. Insulted because of me. Mwambie Mungu sini yake niongoe. Just tell God don't leave me, just save me. Kila mtu mwambie Yesu niongoe. Let each one of us tell Jesus to save him. Amen. Amen. Luka 23. Book of Luke chapter 23. Nane. Verse 8. Wendele. And continue. Na Herode alipo muona Yesu. Alifrahi sana. Kwa sababu. Alikuwa kitaka sana. Kumuona tangu siku nyingi. Mana amesikia habari zake. Akatarajia kuona ishara. Ilio fanywa na yeye. Akamuliza maneno mengi. Yeye asimujibu lolote. Wakuu wa makuhani na wa, na waandishi wakasimama wakamshtaki kwa nguvu sana. Basi siku ile ile Herode na Pilato walipatana kwa urafiki kwa maana hapo kwanza walikuwa na wadui wao kwa wao. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni aibu kubwa. It's a great shame. Yesu yuko hapa na hupatani na mtu. Jesus here and Herod reconciliation. Akatoka huko. He came from that end. Herod akaja kwa Pilato. Herod came to Pilate. Yesu alikuja kuokoa. But Jesus came to say. Yesu alikuja kubariki. Jesus came to bless. Amen. Amen. We rudi jioni ya leo. Just start off to say. Umemie Mungu niokoe. And tell God save me. Nina uhadui ndani yangu na watu. Because of enmity in me against people. Sasa niokoe. Okay now save me. Maana nina uhadui na wanadamu. There was so much enmity against human being. My friend human being. Maana niokoe. Oh Lord save me. Maana hawa wawili walikuwa wana uhadui wao kwa wao. Had enmity against each other. Wao kwa wao against each other lakini aliposikia but when he had heard kwa pilato that he's going Niko to yesu anaka that's why still akasema naenda huko he said i'm going right there aka shika safari he went there on his journey aka ingia kwa bomba la huyo mzee and got in the homestead of that old man aka furahi pamoja he rejoiced together karibu, with him karibu, karibu. oh welcome welcome karibu, welcome karibu. welcome 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 na wewe leo fanya hivi do the same thing today also kama na adui yako patana na yeye come into agreement with na yesu atakuwa hapo hapo jesus will be right there with you kwa Mungu kuna uzima, kwa Mungu kuna baraka. There's good life to God and there are so many blessings Lakini to God. Lakini tuwe tukae katika roho wa Mungu. Then we should also pray to be in the spirit Tukika of God. Tukikamilini, we will dwell in the flesh. Ndio watu wanapigana, wanafanya mabaya. That's where people fight and do very many Lakini evil things. Lakini ukirudi ukikaa rohoni, but if you stay in spirit, tutakuwa tuko katika ulimwengu wa roho. We shall be in the spiritual world. Na lolote utakalo Mungu atakupa. And whatever you want God shall give you. Ndio yote Whatever problem you have. Kwanza ni madeni na amini jioni ya leo. Every first thing is death and then the kuomba, when we go to pray shikilia moyoni mwako hold this thing in your Useme heart mimi haya madere nataka yaende and you say i want these days to depart from me tulia moyoni mwako just stay like that in your Useme heart Useme niko and you say i'm ready haya madere yaende for these days to go tukisha kuomba hapa once we pray utatoka here, mabayani we get out of evil things tumepona Ojimbe tumepona Ojimbe tumepona Ojimbe tumepona Ojimbe tumepona Ojimbe tumepona Ojimbe tumepona Yawe jimbe tumepona Sote jimbe tumepona yawe O jimbe tumepona Baba jimbe tumepona Yesu O jimbe tumepona Ndugu zangu mwaminini Mungu My dear brethren believe God Mwaminini Mungu Just believe God Na hivyo tumefunga macho Nitaomba I shall pray Kwa ajili ya matatizo mbalimbali Let's go different complications Tuwe pamoja kiroho Let's be together spiritually Baba nakushukuru usiku huu wa leo Tuko mbele zako mwana wa mingi Umeona mateso ya watu wako Bwana ndio ukatuma ujumbe huu ili watu wako wakawekwe huru Baba ninakushukuru maana unatupenda ndio sababu umetuma neno hili umeona yule pepo wa madeni anatesa mwanadamu hana furaha hana amani ewe pepo wa madeni katika jina la Yesu ninakuamuru na utoke sasa demoni pepo za madeni tokeni umetia mwanadamu kwenye utumwa toka katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu 
pepo madeni toka na magonjwa na shida mbalimbali kila udhaifu pepo toka sasa huna wakati wako tena wa kukaa toka toka katika jina la bwana Yesu katika jina la bwana Yesu mapote palipo na ugonjwa popote palipo na matatizo popote palipo na madeni toka demoni pepo madeni toka na ubaya wa kila aina wana wa Mungu waweke huru hata katika biashara zao baba ninakushukuru baba ninakushukuru kupenda watu wako bwana kiasi hiki Mungu baba ni asante najua umeweka huru watu wako tangu sasa si watumwa tena wamekuwa wana kuanzia sasa baba ni asante kutenda katika jina la Yesu mokozi wetu amen amen amen